Hey, it's Kevin Lawton with the New Warehouse Podcast here at Modex 2022. It is day three and we are in the booth. I am going to be joined by Mike Stein of Signode and he is the VP of Marketing and Product Management over there. He's been on the podcast previously. I think uh, I think the first time actually was uh, way back from 2019 uh, when I was just running around with a handheld recorder and I think we were talking about the... Uh, octopus so yeah, say, yeah. Exactly, so we were talking yeah. about that right so yeah. so uh good memories obviously we've come a come a little bit here we're actually able to sit down and, and discuss uh some things so so it's good to uh reconnect and, and have you here in the booth um so so how has uh modex been going for you so far yeah modex this year has been great we mm-hmm. were uh we were all here two years ago in 2020 right and um that was weird. Here, it, was, yeah. it was weird. It was <laughs> some emptiness and some. We learned how to shake hands with our elbows. Yeah. And yeah. Wander the halls looking for hand sanitizer. <laughs> hand sanitizer. We were kind of trying to figure out are we going to be able to yeah, get yeah. home? I mean, oh, was, that was a big giveaway. I think that time was hand exactly. sanitizer. Exactly. Right? Anybody with hand sanitizer <laughs> had a full booth, so it was uh, it was issue. But this year is, I mean, it's been fantastic. Just the booth traffic and not just the number of people, but the mm-hmm. the people who are coming through are very interested, very, you know, engaged. They're mm-hmm. looking for solutions, um, you know, trying to resolve some of the things that they're dealing with in their in their operations and their warehouse yeah. environments. So it's uh, it's been a great show. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And we can see the turnout. Uh, I mean, it's evident that, you know, people were anxious to get back and, and get out here. So so you're with uh, Signode. So give us a little bit of a, a brief overview of Signode and, and what it is you guys do. I mean, you guys do a lot of stuff, but for give sure. us a little overview. Yeah, so Signode um, historically has been a packaging company, packaging equipment, mm-hmm. consumables, um, service and support. And uh, as the as the economy, as the industry is evolving, we're mm-hmm. also evolving and becoming much more uh, of an integration okay. company as well. So mm-hmm. we we have the, the benefit of having a lot of the pieces of high value equipment that right. a, that a, com- a customer or a company would need mm-hmm. for their packaging and warehousing requirements. Yeah. Um, but what we're finding is that they are looking for more and more automation, more and more integration. And rather than buying equipment from one company and then taking it to another company to figure right. out how to get it all to work together, mm-hmm. it's um, there's some advantages to us knowing the equipment, knowing the the um, you know the programming and the and the controls mm-hmm. in the equipment to be able to handle some of that integration ourselves, yeah. and so we're getting more and more involved with with the integration. So it's uh, it's been really good because customers are really seeing we're seeing that customers are really valuing that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I, I think it's interesting you mentioned there that you know they they really want to to integrate a lot of kind of different things yeah. together and be able to to develop and, and automate not just you know a, a singular process but they want to automate you know the whole operation exactly. and the, the whole flow throughout so so it makes sense to be able to you know go to somebody and, and have it done under under one roof right exactly. so like you said taking one thing and then putting it together with another and then you know dealing with all these companies so so obviously you guys have, have recognized that in the marketplace and you're, and you're fulfilling that need um so so here at modex uh, obviously you know we're talking about innovation is the big thing in modex all the time right and, and this year I mean, obviously, there's tons and tons of innovations going on. You know, we see automation all over the place. Everywhere you look is automation. So, so talk to us a little bit about uh, what Signode is kind of showing off in the booth this year and, and uh, how the reception from attendees has been. Sure. So I would say the booth is concentrated on two areas mm-hmm. related to uh, innovation and, and our capabilities. One is some of the newer equipment right. um, that customers can use to uh, address certain requirements that they have for mm-hmm. higher throughput. Yeah. You know, labor challenges. We all know space limitations, load securement. There's a lot of there's a lot of factors that customers are are talking to us about that mm-hmm. we can we can help address with some of our equipment. So one example is our new electric hooder, our Lockenmeyer hooder. Okay. Um, it's a it's the first time we've brought into into the U.S. market an, an all electric. Mm-hmm. machine for, for hooding loads and a hooder is just an alternative to a wrapper. Most most customers or companies okay. are very familiar with the ring wrappers. Yeah, yeah. And um, what the hooder does is it instead of wrapping horizontally it comes down from the top okay. with a film that contains the entire load. A lot of people think it looks it looks like a shrink wrap, but it's not. It's uh-huh, actually okay. a, a specialized film yeah. that provides so not just side side to side containment but also mm-hmm. vertical containment. Mm-hmm. It deals very well with odd shaped loads. So yeah. a lot of the ring wrappers would wrap sort of a uniform pallet. Mm. Uh, what we're showing in our in our booth is is how our hooder can wrap 
um, odd shaped loads. Mm. It also provides uh, a much higher throughput rate. So if, if people are looking for higher throughputs through their system, yeah. the, uh, the hood is a good option for that as well. Interesting. Um, we're also showcasing our new um, ASRS cart for pallet, uh, high density pallet storage. So mm -hmm. the cart handles higher, higher, higher load, higher weight loads, okay. uh, higher throughput, so higher speeds, more yeah. stable, more flexible. So mm -hmm. both the, the physical equipment as well as the software system um, mm -hmm. is providing really good solutions for, for pallet storage, yeah. um, for, you know, for fulfillment centers. Gotcha. And so, in, and on, on that aspect, you're, you're providing the, the whole system or, or just the card itself you mentioned? No, we do the whole system, a okay. turnkey. As we were talking about yeah, before, yeah. customers right. are looking for sort of that turnkey solution. So mm -hmm. we'll do not only the entire automated warehouse with mm -hmm. the carts and lifts and, 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 the, and the racking itself and all yeah. the conveyors that go with it, but even all the, all the systems that would be required to get the pallet ready to go into the warehouse, so okay. the palletizers, the wrappers, yeah. you know, everything from once the truck arrives at their facility and needs to get offloaded, mm -hmm. and the product prep, labeled, weighed, mm -hmm. wrapped, stacked, you know, to the put into the warehouse, end we, end, we yeah. can do the end-to-end, -end. and then at the other side, when the pallet's retrieved, and yeah. they need to, whether it's pick and pack or full pallet shipping, we can, uh, mm -hmm. we can automate that part of it as well. So with, with a lot of our systems now, we're able to do yeah. really that entire process from receipt to fulfillment. Yeah, yeah, it's very interesting, and obviously, you know, you, you kind of uh, had the uh, the components of that in the, in the past, and now exactly. you've kind of developed a way to to marry them all together, and then, like we said, end to end, you know, have that whole process. And I, and I think along the way, and, and recently, right, you, you've kind of uh, joined forces with a, another company or taken another company under your yeah your wing. So you know, how does talk to us a little bit about that and how that kind of came about? For sure. So. Um, Simplomatic Engineering is a company that's pretty mm -hmm. well known for automated solutions. Right. They do a lot of material handling through conveyors, through robotics, through AGVs, AMRs. Mm -hmm. And so what we recognized is that what they had in their portfolio was pretty much exactly what we needed to sort of fill right. the gaps between our different equipment yeah. uh, elements so that we could do more rather than having to outsource or find somebody else to do the conveyors or do, mm -hmm. the, do the material handling. We now have that within our organization, so it's uh, so Simplomatic is now one of the brands that Signode right. offers, along with the others that our customers know: Little David, Lock and mm -hmm. Octopus, yeah. uh, Storefest. Simplomatic is now another what we call a, a Signode brand. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Very interesting, and uh, you know, it's great that uh, obviously you know it's interesting how those things kind of fall in place. Like yeah. you mentioned, you, know, you, you were looking for these to fill these certain gaps, I guess, yeah. in, in the business to make you that end to end and and they were really the right fit. So, so it's great that you're able to find that synergy and now, now be able to provide even a, a more robust solution to your, your end users and your, and your potential customers and your existing customers. So that's really a great thing. So so on, along the lines of the, you know, the customers and potential customers, obviously, uh, you know, every attendee at Modex for a company is a potential customer, right? You gotta look at it that way. So so as they're coming to, to the booth and, you know, looking at what you're, showing off and you know I'm, I'm curious what what are they asking about what are they what are they interested in yeah. and and you know what are they really what's the demand that you're feeling out there I mean so it's a great question I mean along with you know so the, on the one hand it's you know what are they trying to do right, right. are they trying to um, improve their throughput mm -hmm. are they trying to address labor challenges yeah um, do they have space limitations so mm -hmm. What, what we're realizing is that kind of the process that we have used in the past for selling equipment solutions mm -hmm. is working really well for complete automation solutions. Mm -hmm. And so okay. because we come from the equipment side rather yeah. than from the engineering consulting side, mm -hmm. our approach is very much to think about it in terms of need satisfiers. Mm -hmm. And so the first thing we do is when we're going to introduce a customer to one of our solutions is we start by understanding well, what are they trying to do? Right. right. Are they trying to expand? Are they trying to compress? Are they trying to go, you know, increase their throughput? Are they mm -hmm. trying to, you know, use their space more efficiently? And so that's just kind of part of our natural selling process. Okay. And so we don't really have, and what we're finding customers really appreciate is we don't really have a consulting model where if they want us to talk to them about a solution, the first thing we're going to ask them is to sign a contract to do engineering work. Yeah. For us, that's just part of our normal process to, mm -hmm. to meet with them, understand what their needs are, what is it they're trying to do, and then we can start recommending, because we have a really broad portfolio, we can start recommending to them 
which combination of machines and, and yeah. automation solutions are going to suit them best for their facility. So yeah. are they better off with AGVs? Are they better off, better off with, with a, a cart loop system? Are they better off with conveyors? Right. Or are they better off, may, maybe manual is even in some cases preferred. And, mm. and for the, the packaging, you know, is the ring wrapper really the best solution or do yeah, they need yeah. to look at more of like a hooder solution or, mm. or more of a semi-automatic depending on their throughput requirements? And so. We're finding that customers really appreciate mm -hmm. this approach where we're not trying to be consultants per se, but yeah. yet our our approach is very consultative mm -hmm. in that we, we want to start by understanding what are they trying to do, what are they trying to achieve, what are the right. challenges they're trying to overcome, and then we can start to recommend this, you know, sort of system solution for them. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I would say that we're we're doing that's a little bit more difficult to show at a show like this, yeah. but we're, we're finding that customers really appreciate our packaging lab. So back in our, our main facility, we have a oh, fully okay. functioning packaging lab where yeah. when we recommend a solution, mm -hmm. it's a big investment. Yeah, and absolutely. so customers can send their product to our lab mm -hmm. and we can, we can pack and move their product mm -hmm. the way we're suggesting and recommending from, from the investment perspective. They can yeah. see the equipment, they can see how it performs. We can confirm that the way we're recommending their pack, we can mm -hmm. test through vibration, through impact, through um, environmental, we can test to see that the yeah. that it will work the way we're suggesting mm -hmm. for their environment. And so that gives them a lot of confidence that before they have to invest in, and yeah. integrate these machines into their facility, mm -hmm. that we can demonstrate that it's going to actually work the way that we're uh, we're suggesting. Or yeah. maybe we'll learn that it's not, and we can mm -hmm. adjust the 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 uh, solution to be more appropriate for their situation. Yeah, absolutely, and I, I think that's a great approach too, as well. And I, you know, my, as my experience as a warehouse manager, you know, when you're trying to look at new solutions and especially, you know, working with uh, smaller companies, right, when you you mentioned there, you know, you, know, you say you, you're interested in bringing in a new solution and they say, well, we got to sign this contract, you know, in order to right. even start looking at exactly. it, right? Uh, that's, uh, it can be scary and uh, upper management usually uh, will say uh, no right away. Right. Right? Exactly. So, so when you're able to, to show them and, you know, be able to kind of work away the, the way that you said you know you previously did when you're just selling the equipment piece itself. I think that makes a, a total difference, especially in this market and what we're seeing in the expansion of technology and, so, and uh, innovations in, in our space. You know, there's a lot of education still that needs yeah. to be done on customers' uh, parts. And, and you know, for the smaller, medium-sized businesses, you know, they're really trying to figure out how can they compete with those, those bigger, exactly. gigantic companies, right, that are, that are killing distribution and that have, you know, uh, you know, thousands of people just working, you know, R&D and research just figuring out what's the next thing, right? Um, so, you know, being able to, to provide that solution, I, I think, is certainly a, a difference maker in the industry, right? and it's great that you guys are offering that. Um, and it's really interesting to hear about those different things. And, and now the, the packaging lab itself, uh, I, so it, basically you have everything set up there, all of your equipment and, and the different things, and you can just uh, tailor it to, to whatever the customer's need is. Is that, is that how it works? Or? Yeah, so there's there's sort of two parts of it. One is, okay. as you just described, so the different equipment, right. so different wrapping solutions, different strapping solutions, a lot of the protective packaging, so mm -hmm. uh, the consumables that we provide. And then we have the test equipment. So it's an oh, ASTM okay. certified test lab. Yeah. So we have impact sleds that replicate how a rail car might act. We mm. have uh, okay. tilt and vibration tables that might replicate how a truck or a ship might act. And yeah. so, so the way the customer is going to ship their product, mm. we can replicate that in the lab. So we can not only oh, have use the equipment that we're yeah, recommending yeah. to pack their, their products, mm. and they send us their pallets. Yeah. And so we get their pallets in the way yeah. they're packaging it now, right. which is instructive because we see how it arrives. So yeah, yeah. sometimes it's fine. And then we can look <laughs> at it and say, well, are they are they overpacking it? Are they investing yeah. more than maybe they need to because they don't necessarily know all the options for the mm -hmm. best solution? Are they underpacking to where yeah. maybe it's creating damage because they don't want to overinvest in mm -hmm. you know how much packaging they're using? What we're looking mm -hmm. for, we call the optimal outcome, mm -hmm. is you want to invest just enough yeah. to protect the product, to mm -hmm. get it where it's going safely, mm -hmm. without over-investing because you didn't know the best way or the right, right. way. Yeah. And so we we can we can take their their package, their, their pallet, their mm -hmm. loads, 
and then repack it in several different ways and test yeah. it on, on, our, on our test equipment hmm. and uh, sort of learn with them yeah. what is the optimal way to get this pallet packed and, and shipped. Because if they're shipping it across town, it's experiencing a very different right. uh, environment than if they're shipping it across, across the country or across the world. And hmm. how's it going to be stored? Maybe yeah. that's a factor, right? So there's, there's all those things we can, we can consider. Um, one, of the, one of the tools we have, we can put a sensor on the, on the pallet mm -hmm. that they're shipping through their normal pathway, right. and we can follow the shipment mm. and see exactly where it's experiencing heavy vibration, right. heavy shock yeah. load, heavy impact. And so we can replicate even that trip hmm. specifically in our test lab to yeah. show here's where you maybe are experiencing, um, you know, damage or, or challenges for your for your package. So hmm. it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, very interesting stuff. Yeah. And uh, you know, obviously, I think you had a, a really interesting point there about you know the maybe the customer currently is uh, not having enough packaging mm -hmm. to, to protect their stuff, or maybe they're having too much. Yeah. So so finding that that happy medium, I think, is really key because. You know, if you have too much packaging, then obviously you're you're overspending on packaging right. materials too, right? right? So, so there's a lot of uh, cost savings that could be involved in there. So, so really interesting, and, and the packaging lab sounds incredibly intriguing. So, I, you know, come I, visit. I, I was just gonna say, <laughs> well, I'm looking for my invite. So, yeah, come visit. For yeah, sure. so definitely, uh, we'll figure that out. And you know, it's very interesting uh, learning about this stuff, and it's great to see how you guys have uh, evolved into the the full uh, integration, as, yeah. as you mentioned from the, kind of the last time I think we spoke. So. Yeah. So really great to hear about uh, Signode and learn about everything you guys are up to nowadays. Yeah. Um, so if people want to find out more information about Signode, how can they do that? I mean, they can go to our website, right, Signode.com. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they can come by our booth sure. and uh, have a visit and talk to some of our, our folks, some of our uh, specialists in the booth. Um, or I guess those are the best. Those are probably the best ways to okay. uh, to learn about us. But uh, we're very happy to, as I said, we. You know, for us, mm -hmm. uh, the first consultation for us is just a, a sales call. So right. we're not, we don't, to your point, a lot of, especially smaller companies, don't necessarily have the ability to sign a contract before you know what yeah. you're yeah. You know, kind of getting into. So mm -hmm. I think we're even, if you're trying to explore and just learn about what's yeah. available and what different different solutions might even be on the market, it's probably good to engage with us just to learn, yeah. even if it's not uh, if it's not time yet to, to make the investment. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll put all that information at the newwarehouse.com as well so people can easily find it. So, Mike, thanks so much for coming by the booth and uh, good to connect in person. Yeah, appreciate it. Good to see you again.